We've broken down the eclipse duration as far as some of the main counties are concerned within that path of totality. Again, the longest time that you could see that eclipse would be in Navarro County as well as Hill County, where four minutes and 23 seconds of totality are expected. In Dallas County, a little under four minutes. Tarrant County, only about two minutes and 33 seconds. All in all, again, anywhere from two to four minutes that you could actually see that eclipse in its totality. However, the forecast still trending fairly pessimistic as far as those viewing conditions are concerned. In fact, across far south Texas, I do think that those low clouds will really impact viewing conditions. But just how fast do those low clouds surge from the south to the north? That still remains in question for the DFW Metroplex. I do think that areas to the north and west of Dallas will have slightly better viewing conditions. I do think that high clouds will mainly impact those areas. Now, there is the chance that these low clouds hold off until after that totality officially ends for us here in North Texas. Make sure you're staying updated with us. A lot of folks have asked us, too, well, where should we travel then if we can't see those optimal viewing conditions across North Texas? You can head on up to Arkansas, head on up to Missouri, where sunshine is expected. But what difference do high clouds versus low clouds actually make? We've put together this graph to show you how those clouds would impact the eclipse. A veil of high clouds, yes, we are a little bit more confident that that veil of high clouds is likely. However, this isn't going to be necessarily poor viewing conditions with those high clouds. They're thinner, more transparent. They kind of give the sunshine a little bit of a fuzzy look, and that will allow for some of the eclipse to be visible. If those low clouds arrive before totality, before about 140 ish in the afternoon on Monday. Yeah, that will really prevent those viewing conditions, optimal viewing conditions across North Texas. When do those low clouds move in? Yeah, we'll continue to nail down that forecast, but probably won't know timing wise until about 24 hours out from the eclipse.